What's up guys? I hope everyone is having an amazing, amazing day today. I have been waiting to do this since the last time I did this. A full updated sneaker collection video. Yo, you know what we haven't done in a long time? Is like a crazy like closet sneaker collection video. I feel like we should definitely do that again. Yeah, let's do it. Now is finally the time. I have not done this since August 28, 2017. So we're talking like 14, 15 months now. I lived in Vegas at the time. I used to live with my family and stuff like that. As you guys probably saw in my apartment tour video, I now live in New York City. I live by myself. And I have a way, way, way different closet of different sneakers, different clothing items, all that kind of stuff. So I gotta show it to you guys. But the first thing I gotta ask you guys is help for is that on that last time I did the collection video, I got 8,000 thumbs up on it, which is super, super dope and I appreciate it. But the channel's bigger and better now, so if we can, please guys smash that like button. Let's get this to 10,000 thumbs up. And without anything else, let's just get right into it because I'm excited to show you guys this stuff. A lot of it is different than what I had back then. I'll start right here because it's like the lightest part of my closet. Got a few different things here. So I got some SBs, my only pair of SBs, but what's cool about these is if you get close, they're actually samples. These are promo samples from Nike. Definitely like them. Uh, the only pair of foam posits that I got still, the sport, uh, I don't know if they're called sport grays or sport blues, but I used to have these when I was younger. Like sometimes I'll make pickups for nostalgic value and that is really, really not worth it because I never end up wearing them. I got a light pair of EQTs right here. I got the green human races you guys saw in my last video. I also got an extra pair of the black human races as well. I think back in that collection video, I probably had like every Prime Knit NMD, Bape NMDs, Nice Kicks, like every Ultra Boost, like Arizona States, all that kind of stuff. Like times have changing. Nike's kind of brought it back. I kind of felt like that was going to happen. Like obviously like I made it on my merch and stuff like that. I'm kind of a hype beast. Like I like having stuff that's like hot. People know what you're wearing. Like you can put it together with dope outfits and stuff like that. Solar Human Races right here. I like them because you got the yellow and powder blue. They're Chargers colors. I actually got those early. Shout out to NY10 sale for hooking it up with those. Got my only pair of OGs left. The black with yellow. I used to have every color and like multiple of them. I've just gotten rid of it over time. Got the black and purple. Holy pack. And you guys probably saw in my last video. Picked up these multicolor Human Races. Absolutely disgusting. Fun fact, I broke my toe wearing these. And then I got gold medal, SNS. These were my favorite for a while, but I don't know, like I've kind of cooled off of like the super, super flashy stuff lately as I'm wearing a bright red hoodie. That's not very convincing, but I honestly have with shoes and the gold ones. These actually restocks. They're not worth nearly as much as they used to be, but still a super dope shoe to me. And one last pair kind of hiding away. It's actually my last pair of NMDs that I still have. Just got the OGs kind of beat up, but you can't go wrong having one of them. They're still so comfortable. Got a little Fordham jacket, because I go to Fordham. This piece is super dope right here. This is a Gucci jean jacket, modern on the front of it. There's actually a picture of Justin Bieber wearing this, funny enough, which definitely added to the hype. But um, this is like one of my favorite pieces in my entire collection, no matter what it is, like jacket, hoodie, anything. That Louis Vuitton fragment varsity jacket right there. Utah Jazz, Supreme Repeat, got the uh, Nike Supreme NBA jacket right here. You guys have probably seen me wearing that around a lot. This Supreme jacket's the warmest thing I have, so I probably will need to get a Canada Goose or Montclair or something like that, like every other New Yorker, but it does have like some fake fur on it, so it is pretty warm. Last thing I keep in here, little New York Yankees Gucci scarf. Being in New York, you gotta get Yankees. And to be fair, I actually didn't pick this up myself. Uh, this was a gift, shout out to you if you're watching this, you know who you are. Like, I wouldn't consider myself a sneaker collector. I'm like a sneaker wearer, but like there are a few things that like I like to just kind of have that I don't necessarily wear all the time. This is a good example of one. Some of you guys might appreciate it. The Bait uh, Diodora Transformers right here. Something different, like they look not worn. They have been worn one time. Planet Racers. There's a few different things up there, but now let's keep it moving and get into the main part of my closet. All 
right, so now we get to the second part of my closet. This is where I keep a lot of my hoodies, long sleeves, and some more sneakers. So basically, I'm gonna start with the sneaker portion right here. I got the only pair of high top Gucci's right here. I think they're like, like the A sneakers are what they call the low tops. I'm pretty sure it's just like the ace highs. I could be wrong. Uh, they go kind of crazy with these Gucci sweats right here. It's kind of hard to pull pants out because like I just have enough that they fit, but like they barely fit. So if I pull one out, I was trying to make a point and it didn't work. But basically if I like pull one out, they usually like all move, but I guess not right now for whatever reason. A lot of you guys probably have gold toes or like could easily get them. These are the pair that they actually came out with at ComplexCon 2017, where the toes are different. They're like that top three style. So they're different all the way around. These are actually kind of dirty because I wore them in really bad weather the last time I put them on. My Knights jersey right here. I'm still a Vegas Knights fan after one season strong. We got the Nigel Sylvester's you saw me pick up in the last video. Uh, it's my only pair of threes I got right now. I actually have been meaning to get black cements and then the JTH ones, but for now, these are the ones I got. They got Nike Air on the back, so. And then we got the Levi's right here, and then I'm not gonna pull them out because everyone shows them, but we got the Bread 11s down there. Off-white sock. This is basically just like my chill, like I'm going to class, I'm not doing anything crazy, like I'm not trying to like wear nice stuff kind of thing. So we got like Chargers, got Fordham University. This is actually crazy, this Nike sportswear hoodie. I love this piece. Odell actually wore this piece in the new Nike sportswear commercial. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to get that hoodie. I think it was like 80 bucks. Chargers hoodie right here. I'm not gonna talk too much about the Chargers. You guys know I'm a diehard fan, but I love that. Shout out to the Chargers. You guys are all probably looking at it. Some of you hypebeasts, especially probably a lot of the younger people watching this are like, just show them. So like, I'm not gonna show them for too long, but I got my Yeezys up here. I'm gonna go up there. Thank God I have this. Shout out to StockX for this Supreme Step stool. <laughs> up here, I keep all my Yeezys. Like, I do kind of wear them a lot, but like, not like I used to, like obviously, like, not even just that the hype is a lot lower, but like there's just so many colors that like it honestly has gotten kind of frustrating, like enough with the V2, but I also don't really like the 700. So hopefully they do something new, like fairly soon, but got the copper stripes, bread, zebras, creams, beluga 1.0s, blue tints, butters. This is my favorite pair, honestly, of the V2s, the zebras or frozen yellows, whatever you want to call them. These are definitely the best pair to me just because they're so different. And like, if you wear like, all black, those pop so hard, it's super sick. And then Oxford Tans, two pairs of the Turtle Doves. So that's it for my Yeezys. Show you a few more shoes here. I actually got a bunch of shoes right here on this wall, which I'll get to in a second. But in the meantime, I just wanna show you guys, I'll show you guys most pieces, why not? So first, we got some like Louis Vuitton Vans, like they're not actually Vans, these are just Louis Vuitton sneakers, but they kind of have that Vans look. And then these are actually a new pair that I just picked up. I'm just gonna try to grab a shoe here we go so this is just like a high top they did recently with like the patches uh they did like a national parks collection so you got like stamps almost from like a bunch of different national parks which is kind of a crazy design right there throw them on in the winter and stuff like that hopefully there's no like snow and stuff if you were to do that which it does not going to work well in new york but they got like suede and stuff like that so it's going to be hard not to mess them up especially because i'm really 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 tempted to wear them Plot Vapor Maxes right here. They actually kind of match what I'm wearing right now. Like not really, but kind of. These, I feel like would probably be the shoe that would get me the most hate out of everything I have in this video because it's just so flashy and people would be like, why would you have a shoe like that? And honestly, like I really like these. Like I don't wear them a ton, but like when I wear them, like I'm going out to like an event, like something crazy, like maybe like a concert or something. Like I want my feet to show out even if it's dark or something like that. Um, so they're actually like really kind of beat. Like I don't know if you can tell the toe box and stuff, but they're actually really kind of beat up. Then, just really quick, you guys have probably seen them. Fear God Vans right there. Got a just pair of regular off-white sneakers right here. Shout out to Blake Linder. He actually sold me these back in the day for like 40 bucks, I think. He was just like, I don't, they don't fit me. And I have like a little bit bigger foot than Blake, so he hooked me up with those. This is the heaviest shoe you will ever get. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I feel like they actually put like, like sand or like weight belts in like, the bottom of this like i don't even know what the word for it is these are like the heaviest shoes i've ever owned in my entire life more heavy than triple s is like anything like they're a super heavy shoe so i don't wear them a ton but i have worn them and right here i only keep like one pair of shoes here because i got my light switch to the closet right there um got my floral gucci's right here these are actually a bergdorf goodman exclusive which is a store located here in new york that i want to say is like four blocks from my apartment you literally can only get them there and i just love these like they're super dope got the Gucci flops. 
regular stuff down here to be honest with you guys like off-white zoom flies in orange got um these are kind of sick the tyler the creator converse I actually used to have the pink pair shout out to grant for selling me these really appreciate it he hooked me up with a steal on them fear of god vans revenge storms these are nyc roche runs if you guys are like maybe like between like the age of like 17 and 22 you probably used to wear roche runs to school i still have one pair left i used to wear them to school every day i had like 20 of them and these are one of the only pairs that i have that i actually had in my last collection video these are my Kobe 10 ID is my only basketball shoe that I really still have. On the inside, they say just to win. They probably honestly don't even fit me anymore, but since it's like the first shoe I ever designed myself, I keep them around. All right, so now we're on to the hoodie section. I cannot talk about every piece of clothing. This video will be like two hours long. I'll just pull out like a few. Got this Gucci like cardigan thing. Like I know that if I posted an outfit picture with this on Instagram, you guys would probably roast me because it's not like the coolest hype piece, piece to most people. But honestly, it's like one of my favorite pieces. Like wear it with something simple, kind of dress it up or dress it down, however you want. I'll show it just because it is box logo season. Yes, I took an L on all the box logos. I didn't get one. If anyone's watching this and wants to hook me up with a good price, don't hit me with StockX prices. But if you have a really good price, hit me up in the medium or large. But in any case, I do have one box logo here in New York. I got the peach one right here. I do have the like lime on lime. I got the red on pink crew neck and a couple others back in Vegas, but I just didn't bring them out because like I honestly don't really wear them. The Givenchy, I like how it has like, you gotta wear like a solid color shirt under it or else it looks super weird, but something different. Another one that uh, I really, really, really like, and I'm gonna give them some love in this video because that's one thing I should tell you guys. Like this is a lot of stuff obviously and like some of you guys might be watching this video like trying to add up in your head what this closet probably cost me and stuff like that. And to be honest with you guys, a lot of the stuff was kind of gifted to me. So I definitely appreciate all the brands I've worked with that have hooked me up with stuff like this. And I would say the biggest one by far is StockX. They're like the greatest in the game. I'm telling you that I'm not just like saying it to say it. Like the prices are usually cheaper than GOAT, cheaper than Flight Club, cheaper than most places you can get it. It's really easy to sell and buy. So I definitely recommend it. But uh, this is a Kendrick Lamar Nike collab. Uh, says damn on it obviously for his album this is a super new york piece so i'll show it real quick got the statue of liberty um it's an, actually an off-white piece i don't think it was exclusive to new york but obviously living in new york it's pretty dope to have that got two like louis vuitton i don't i think the word for it is like cashmere but they're basically like the softest crew neck sweaters you'll ever find these are like definitely a lot dressier you know what? i think that's enough for this section right here but there is still another section of this room of the closet that I have to show you guys, which has a ton more shoes. Acronym, Prestos, Red Bottoms. It's the only pair that I have. I thought I'd be wearing them when I came out here for like internships and meetings and stuff, but I actually have not worn these since I came out here yet. My favorite pair of Gucci A sneakers I have. I actually have worn these, but they've stayed crazy clean. It's like the only pair that I like will actually like check the weather outside and make sure it's not like crazy bad weather because I actually really, really like that pair and I, they're pretty hard to find. Like these ones actually did sell out. Black Off-White Vapor Maxes, Off-White Air Max 97s. I still need to get the blazers of these, but in the meantime, these will definitely do. I love those. Next, got a pair of the Travis Scotts. Like you can change the swoosh on them. Um, got a bunch of different swooshes on them. I got like a whole sheet of swooshes so you can always change it up. Honestly, like match it to whatever outfit you're wearing that day. Get some metallic vibes, like this like marble hologram look. I have the regular off-white Air Force Ones, love these, off-white blazers. I still need the black ones and the Serenas, like I said, so hit me up. I know I'm asking you guys for a lot of stuff, but any resellers out there, honestly, like hit my DMs at just underscore win on Instagram. I'd really appreciate it. I'm not guaranteeing that I'll buy your stuff from you, but if you do have a good price and like are willing to show a little bit of love, I'd be happy to pick them up. Got the UNC pair, got the Chicago pair. I still need the all white pair. I got the Solars, Red Octobers. I've had, these are actually two pairs that I've had since my last collection video. So I probably told the stories in those videos about how I got them and stuff like that. And so that's it for this shoe wall. I still got more shoes and I still got more hype clothing. And there's one more closet to go. closet in my apartment i'm gonna show you guys a few pieces in here i'll start with the clothes since i just talked about shoes for a while um i'll start from right to left to be honest with you guys so first i got some hype shorts got like the gucci g logo shorts these are actually gucci shorts as well with like a i want to say it's like a japanese denim like it almost feels like basketball shorts these are crazy and these were actually gifted to me 
by Mastermind. Mastermind is a brand that's done collabs like Adidas, Bape, and all their stuff, and they sent me their collab you did with, uh, oh, it says Mastermind right there. This is actually a Scottish uh, soccer team, or I guess football team's scarf. I got it at a game when I went to Scotland over the summer. Regular Supreme scarf. Pretty cool Louis Vuitton scarf. Nothing crazy. That just win Chargers jersey, baby. Nine and three, about to be 10 and three once we beat the Bengals. Uh, rookie of the year, Derwin James. And then actually they just get to be this, shout out to them. Got that Gucci box logo, um, classic off-white tee right here. Uh, Gucci-fy yourself, Snake, Dolce & Gabbana. I know there's like some controversy with that right now, so I probably will keep that in the closet for a minute. Uh, Nebraska off-white. Oh, this is really wrinkled. But you guys are seeing it, it's authentic. Another piece of the Kendrick uh, damn Nike collection. Off-white, long sleeve with that yellow X on the back. Oh, this is actually a sick piece. I actually got this at a score called End in Scotland. It is a Nike X uh, CDG Comme des Garcons. Uh, like, I don't wanna say soccer jersey, but like it's like a jersey material long sleeve. This is crazy. I need to start wearing this again. I love that piece. Kith Montclair. One thing that's actually kind of really annoying about it is this is a patch. On the back of the shirt, you can see the patch comes through the shirt and it itches like so bad, but it's just such a dope shirt. Got some bags up here, private label, Louis Vuitton. I don't know if you can see it way back there, but I actually got an extra 2018 uh, Spring Summer Supreme backpack way up there. Gum 750s, chocolate 750s, triple black 750s. I really want the gray and white pair. I think these are called the POD 950s. I got those forever ago at Riff LA. I think I paid like 250 for them. Like no one wanted them. I feel like they're getting a little more hype now because the dad shoes are coming up. Like these like kind of wackier, bulkier shoes are coming up. So I feel like those are going up a little bit in price, but off-white, Vapor Maxes, disgustingly worn. And over here, off-white Converse's. Again, shout out to my family over at StockX for hooking it up with these. This is what you put, you wear these first. It's like this off-white Nike, like logo boxers basically. And then you put this over it. But guys, it's just, it's just so short. And like, my legs aren't that strong. Like it just looks so weird on me. So I haven't really worn them, but they are really cool in pictures and stuff like that. And if you're someone like Odell, they look crazy. If you're someone like me, not so much. And I got a little stack of hats here. I got way more hats in one of my drawers over there. But this is my favorite hat. I'll show it to you guys real quick. My Chance the Rapper hat. No, he's not my favorite musician, but I love that hat. Just so you guys know, I do have dress shoes. It's not always about height. I don't even know what brand these are. I got these at a suit store. The house slippers that a lot of you guys roasted me for in my movie, but honestly, like I don't really care. Like I love these. Uh, got them at Gucci. I need another pair of them, to be honest with you, because they did a Yankees one with the fur. That's crazy. People think these are crazy. Like, I'm telling you, they're so dope. Like, I'll just be honest. Like, look, you just slide this on right here. That's a crazy pair of sneakers. I love those. And right up here, I got a stack of Gucci's. Like, literally like a stack. I just throw all my, like, red and green, like, basic Gucci A sneakers up here. Black with the snakes on it. Gucci's with the G's on it. And you guys can tell, like, these are very worn. Like, I'm not saying I've worn them once or twice. Like, I actually wear these all the time to classes, to flights, uh, to dinner, like to anything. This is like one of the most beat pair of shoes I keep in my entire collection. It was the first pair, of, it was, I think it was actually the first like Gucci thing I ever got in my life. You don't even really say Gucci anymore. Like look at that right there on the green, it's crazy. So I basically showed you guys everything in my closet. Like no, I haven't shown you guys every single piece. Another Gucci shirt right here, dress shirt. Um, there's definitely more and I'm definitely buying more all the time. Like literally, I think after I filmed this video, Nike's opened up a new flagship store on Fifth Avenue, which is close to me. I'm honestly gonna go there and probably get a few more pairs of shoes, get some tech pants, like all that kind of stuff. So I'm constantly adding and I'm also constantly selling. So the closet will change up. So I'm gonna try like every like several months to make another one of these like crazy updated collection videos because it's honestly probably gonna be so different at that time. But for now, that is all I have for you. So thank you so much for watching this. If you have not already, Hit that subscribe button and make sure you smash that like button, guys. It means the world to me to just like see you guys support, stuff like that. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. It honestly has been so much fun. Like I know I've only been back for like maybe four videos, three videos by this time, but it's honestly been so much fun. Like I love just seeing your guys' comments, your support, everything like that. Stay when you make it happen, fam. I love y'all. Peace. I'm not gonna cover the camera, it's too predictable. <laughs>